It's so good to have you here. Welcome to MKids. Are you ready to begin? Okay, stand up. Let's start with the song. a good animation. Watch this snippet with me. It is a really good way of explaining anger. When things go wrong, anger is there. This is anger. He will make sure the world knows anger is in control. But what you really need to watch out for is when he's out of control. Get to know Can you identify with this emotion character? I also sometimes feel as if I can explode when things go wrong, or someone hurts me. It's almost as if I can't control what is happening inside of me. The thing is, if I don't deal with my hurts, it becomes this anger that can be so explosive that it can lead to massive destruction. That is exactly what happened in today's scripture. Check it out. Hi guys. Today I'm going to read you the story of Cain and Abel. This story we will find in Genesis 4 in the Bible. Cain and Abel was the sons of Adam and Eve. Let's hear what the Bible has to say. As Cain and Abel grew up, Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to God. But Abel brought fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. But on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain became very angry and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what's right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must master it. But Cain was already, already angry with his brother Abel. So he asked Abel, let's go out to the field. And while they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel 
and they killed him. God created everything. We read about it in the Old Testament in the first book of the Bible, Genesis. He also created Adam and Eve. And Adam and Eve lived in the Garden of Eden, which God until they were disobedient. God forgave them and was still good to them. And they had two sons, Cain and Abel. Each of the brothers brought gifts to God to worship and honor him. Abel brought the best of what he had. Cain only took something small and didn't really put any thought into it. God, of course, was much more excited about Abel's gift because his heart was right in wanting to give God the very best. Cain was so angry. He was angry at God and his brother. God then went to him so that they could talk about it. God loves people and wants to help them, even when they are angry. But Cain didn't want to hear anything. He wanted to stay ang angry. If only I had talked to God and shared what was in his heart, he could have told God that his heart is actually sore because he felt less important or that he was actually jealous. When you talk to God, when you talk to someone or to God about what is bothering you, it will help that you don't explode and don't do something that is not right. But Cain doesn't talk to God or anyone. He doesn't count to 10. He doesn't breathe. He doesn't go and be alone for a while. He doesn't exercise to feel better. Nothing. He gets angrier. The anger is fuming inside him. And do you know what? He killed his brother. That is terrible. His anger led to his brother's death. Destruction. Canaan is an example of how your anger can hurt yourself and others if you don't talk about it or handle it. God wasn't angry because Cain was angry. It is okay to feel angry. He gave us feelings to feel it. It is about what you do with your anger. You need to think about what to do when you are angry. What do you need so you don't explode? Decide with me what of the following will help you. 10 means it will help a lot. And one means it will help nothing. Write it down somewhere. I will write on the screen what number I choose. It will be different for everyone, and that is okay. Okay, let's go. When you are angry, will it help you to write a journal? Breathe slowly. To exercise, Mm, to talk to someone about what made you angry. What about to talk to your parents about it? Let's see. Uh, listen to music. To pray. I think this one's good. And then to count to 10 or even a hundred. To do something creative like paint or draw. <laughs> to play an instrument. I'm not very good at instruments, so that'll be a one. <laughs> Have a look at your top three things that will help you. Remember them when you feel like you want to explode with anger and do one of those three. I am sure it will help us a lot. Good luck with your week. Hey guys, let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, that you love us so much. And thank you that you, that your love surpasses all understanding and your peace. Lord, I pray that in this new year that's coming, that you'll give us wisdom to show, to show us how to walk in your light and that we can shine that same light to the people around us. I pray that we'll be reminded by the fact that even when people push us away, you are always there and your love is closer than ever. I pray for an awesome 2021. 
and that you'll be with us every step of the way. I pray that your grace and peace will be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>